Hi and welcome students. In this video I'll be talking to you about Microsoft Word 2016 and I'm going to be discussing tables and how to sort columns within tables. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see here that I have a table on my Word document and the first thing that I need to do if I want to sort a column or sort a row inside of Word is click on the table. Okay, That'll make the table active and as soon as you click on the table you're going to see up here at the top the Table Tools Design tab and the Table Tools Layout tab. Now the Table Tools Design tab deals with more of the design element of the table, obviously, um, and it deals with the actual look of it. Now if we want to do things like add rows, delete rows, move rows, anything like that, we go to the Table Tools Layout tab. <clears throat> Alright, so within the Table Tools Layout tab, you're going to see some of the things that I just mentioned, like inserting rows or maybe uh, merging cells together. But over here on the right side, you're also going to see that there is a Data tab. Now this Data tab is going to allow you to do things like Sort. And so if I go right here to the Sort button, you'll see it'll say Arrange the current selection in alphabetical or numerical order. Okay, now uh, this Sort feature is not as complex as say Microsoft Excel's where you can uh, filter out data by numbers or filter out data by conditional formatting. Inside of Word, it's, it's a lot simpler. So all we have to do is go right here to Sort and we click on that and we're going to sort the table now. Now here's what we have to know from this sort dialog box is that the first thing it says sort by that's going to be your column heading so you can see funding source 2019 and 2020. <coughs> Alright so if I click here you're going to see those are my column headings and I could choose any of these. Let's say I wanted to do alphabetical order by the funding source. I could go right here to funding source and then this is a type of text. Now you'll see by default this will change to text because Word recognizes that all of the fields below are text, right? So that's going to be uh, the, the name of the, uh, of the company or the type of source that it is. If I were to say change this to 2019, notice that Word figures out that this is a number down here. So these are percentages and these are numbers. So usually you will not have to change the type over here. Now let's say that I wanted to sort by the 2020 field right over here and I wanted to sort by number and I'm gonna leave this as paragraphs you'll you'll see that that's your only option in this case and so then I could sort by descending or ascending now for a number uh, sort if I choose ascending that's going to be the smallest number to the largest number if I choose descending that's going to be the largest number to the smallest number. So as you can see down here from our 2020 column the 40 percent we would expect to go up to the top now the next part here, it says then by. Now let's say that uh, some of these were a tie, okay? So one was 40 and the other one was 40 as well. Well then you could sort by another one of your fields. So say the 2019 field or the uh, funding source field <coughs> and go alphabetically from there. Since I can see none of these are a tie right here, none of those numbers are exactly equal, then I'm just going to leave this blank. And this last part to uh, recognize right down here, it says my list has a header row or no header row. Uh, this one does have a header row because again, these are the headings that show you what is going on below. So I leave that right there as header row and then I click OK. And again, this is sorting by 2020 in descending order, so we would expect it to go 40, 30, 15, and 15. Now, we actually do see that 15 and 15 are a tie right here, and so this one is Omaha, and this one's donations. So I think I'll sort this one by funding source. Okay, so I could go right here to funding source. It'll figure out that it's text, and then I want to make it alphabetical. So it says ascending, that's obviously going to be A to Z, and then descending is going to be Z to A. So there we go. I'm going to leave that as ascending. So what we can expect by sorting it this way is that 40 will be on top, then 30 will be second, and the 215s will be next, and then it should go donations, and then Omaha Metropolitan School District. If I click OK, <clears throat> we could see that is exactly the order that it happens. So again, sorting in Microsoft Word, it's not too complicated. You just need to know how to use that sort dialog box, which again is in the Table Tools tab, or Table Tools Layout tab, Data Group, and you click the Sort button. So I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions about this video or Microsoft Word in general, please put a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more about Word 2016, make sure you check out my playlist on uh, that application. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.